said you were the smarter twin. Flattery has no effect on me, mainly because I never hear any. So cut the sheep dip and tell me who's on that boat down there. He's a mutton head, but he's our mutton head. Come on, Heather. I thought I saw a boar pit when we were flying in. Hey, maybe they're up for a game of doubles. When are Hiccup and the others going to attack? Mm, tonight. They attack tonight. Now you see, brother, I told you she would be reasonable. Move the elite guard. Oh, no, wait. No, he attacks tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No. no, next week? No, 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 wait, yeah, that's not right. You know, I'm never good with dates. What the? Don't toy with us, girl. Take your best shot, pal. But in the right situations. And what situations would those be exactly, Roughnut? Uh, well, I mean, we could. If we were in a. You have no clue, do you? Didn't think so. Because the two of you don't think. You don't plan. You just come up with these crazy ideas and you forge ahead with no regard for logic or what you're even supposed to be doing. What am I gonna do with you guys? Seriously, tell me. Well, you can start by being kind. Oh, wait. You can't do that because kindness is nowhere in that scrawny little body of yours. What? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Easy, sis. Back up, bro. I got this. You know what your problem is, Roughnut? Oh, you bet I do. I got a list of problems so long I can't even keep track. Question is, do you know what your problem is, Astrid? Allow me to lay it out to you, my friend. You have no respect for the people around you who are just trying to help and be a part of the team. You have no respect for fish legs, certainly none for snot love, and you couldn't have less respect for the two of us. Finish him. Now you can go ahead and shame the others. You can mock this entire island of dragons if you wish, but I am not gonna stand here and listen to you insult the entire Hell family dog! Fatality. Thanks, uh, guys, really, I... Hey, glad you're back. Your dragon rocks. Aurora-ring! What if... Acid! Mm. Okay, fine. Shutting down the Rough Nut Idea Farm. No milk served here. But the Tough Nut Idea Farm has a mighty fine harvest. We use acid to cut through the bars! And where do we get the acid? I'm still working that out. That plan won't work any more than your... Rough Nut marries the guard, divorces him, and gets the key in the settlement plan. You were wise to seek help from the world's most deadly weapon. Uh, it's me. I love this plan. I didn't... You're crazy. I like that. Very well. Keep fattening this one up. More to sell. I... Please! Please don't hurt our dragon! Ugh. I'll do anything! Then tell me what I want to know! Come on, go! You want to save your dragon? Then give me some information. No! Never! <sighs> Sorry. Lost my head there for a second. Guys, I have Listen up. I've memorized the guard schedules and I have a plan. But we need a way to get this door open first. You mean like this key I stole from the guard? Wait, but how did you... Since I am the captain of Team Tough Nut. <laughs> well, you must be feeling extra guilty. Actually, I am. And sorry. Definitely. And completely 100% embarrassed and exposed. Too much. Sorry. I accept your apology, my dear Astrid. <sighs> ah! Oh, my door is always open. And I guess you can keep the shark. You know, there is a chance he got caught in that storm. It's pretty brutal out there. Of course he got caught in the storm. He's not loud. The only question is, do we... You know the answer to that question, and it's yes. Come on. Ugh. 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 You sure it's not a question? I feel like it's a question. I'm afraid that we don't usually allow men on our island, so your friend will have to... Hey! I'm more woman than you'll ever be, sister. My apologies. Follow us. We will provide you with shelter this evening, and a hot meal. Now we're talking. What's on the menu? We're having stew. Sacred stew. We have important work here. A higher purpose, if you will. Males would neither understand, nor would they be helpful. 
Amen to that, sister. Ruff, you don't really feel that way about the guys. Don't I? I can't remember us ever having this discussion, Heather. They are helpless, and the mothers cannot protect them against male razor whips. Been there. When? Uh, just sounded like the right response. What is with all the nets? What? That was cool. I must go fulfill my Thorsten Schliebeldorg ritual. Schliebeldorg? I shall be alone in my hut, in the dark, eating only sea slugs and toenails for the next two days. Ew. Oh. Any extra toenails are welcomed. I can blow through them pretty quickly in my grief. Where are you going? To the stables to see a change wing about a man. A dead man. <gasps> a revenge kill. Hmm. I am conflicted. <laughs> Shrub to the face. Yeah, always a surprise. I suppose a little more roughage in the diet never hurts. Roughnut loves a fresh shrub. What are you up to, Throck? Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> When someone saves the life of a defender of the Wing Warrior, there is a debt that is created, and a duty to repay said debt. I shall be your personal protector until that moment arrives. Ms. Roughnut. Hmm. Ms. Roughnut? You don't say. <laughs> yeah, I think this could work. A poem for the modern woman. Hair, it smells of flounder. Skin. Rough mm. like the coral of a thousand-year-old reef. Lips dry as jerky made from the giant clam. <laughs> no hand will be severed from this woman, for she is modern. She is rough. She is nut. She is rough nut. However, we found that asking for a lady's hand is much more effective. Then her hand would be a symbol of her eternal devotion. Exactly. Will she then wear a hook or a claw? Let's go back. That was beautiful, Throck. And so me. Roughnut, will you join me in returning to Defenders of the Wing Island as my permanent guest? Sure. Come with me, Roughnut. Start a new life back on our island. I will provide for you. I will care for you. And most importantly, I will kill for you. That is so sweet, Throck. Now, let's see what we've all created. I will go first. I call this infinite search for being. Stop loud. I call this barren soul wrapped in nothingness. It was between that and my lousy childhood. Ah, ah, I call this, what does that change wing have that I don't have? Hair, it smells of flounder. Skin, rough like the coral of a thousand year old ring. <laughs> never gonna go with him are you crazy oh by the way thanks for killing yourself for me <laughs> yeah no sweat well then i guess we both learned something or one of us did and the other one wasted a lot of time sorry we just never had to deal with the whole twin thing for this we had to devise a whole new system i'll give <laughs> you a new system <laughs> Oh, Ruff, let me go! Listen, Gruffnut, if that really is your name, and I'm pretty sure it is because no one's ever referred to you as anything else, if we both can't become Thorstens, then count me out. Yeah! I'm not gonna leave my brother behind. Whoa, what happened to you two? Turns out that was a boar pit, and they did want to play doubles. Well, I'd ask how you did, but... Don't. I do not want to talk about it. Some people do not take the game as seriously as they should. Wait, why is it coming at me? What the? Oh, 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 stop! No! 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 Oh, no, 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 no! Mommy's right over there by the torch! Go to the light! I can't do it, Atali. I'm just not cut out for this. 
I don't have the same motherly stuff that you all have. Oh, one more time! Do it one more time! See what I mean? Bonding with a baby razor whip doesn't always happen right away. That's why we do these exercises. But nothing I do seems to work. You should just do it. This isn't about me. It's about the dragon. Nobody knows why a razor whip chooses a wing maiden. Is it instinct, a, a feeling, or something more mystical? Whatever the reason, this little guy chose you. Trust Wingnut. Let him be your guide. The dragon is never wrong. For Wingnut's sake, I don't deserve to be a wing maiden. I guess the dragon was wrong this time. <laughs> Wingnut! <laughs> you mess with the wrong nut maiden. <laughs> Not always that violent, just most of the time. For saving the life of Wingnut and for your uncommon valor in battle, you are now a full fledged wing maiden. <laughs> yes, but all of these baby dragons are Wingnut's siblings. He needs to stay with them until they are released back to the flock. And Toughnut's my brother, and I need to stay with him because he's never released back to the flock. <laughs> Oh, he's nuzzling me. Obviously means something. I don't know what, but something. Oh, holy razor whip, baby. Get your hands off my shield! There's like a million shields! Take that one, it has flower on it. Girls like flowers. Ah. Oops, now this one has blood on it. We will get Rough Nut back. Don't worry. <laughs> worry? If they're stuck with Rough Nut, I'm more worried about them. <laughs> Why the long face? <laughs> I mean, mine's long, but yours is really long. All face and no brain, like you got stretched at birth. Do you have a twin too? Tough nut took up all the room in mom's belly. Otherwise, I'd have a rounder head and more brains. That's science. A few moments later. Yeah. Even the mold spots look like eyes. It's so cute. They even have little horns and everything, just like Barf and Belch. Except me and Barf can't stand Belch, so they're really just Barfs. It's warm in here. More moments later. I know what you're thinking. You've never had a prisoner this hot. All the boys love me, except Aaron, who totally lost his chance. That ship has sailed, boy. Sorry. Much later. It's not lots of beefcake, but almost too pretty, you know? Sometimes I think he's more in love with himself than me. There's only room for one beauty in this relationship. Fish legs would keep me alive longer if I had to eat one of them, stranded on some glacier somewhere. But he never shuts up about dragons. Don't you hate when people never stop talking? Yes, The following Thursday. Until I turned 12 and she was like, chew your own food. And I was like, no, I kind of like it. Most annoying creature ever to cross my path. Aww. Oops, you let the dragons out. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. No, this one's gonna get you. <laughs> Take him and go! Please! I beg you! My gods! No wonder you have gray hair. This dress is not good for you. <laughs> so long, losers! Woohoo! Yeah! Rough nut? Miss me? How did you escape? I annoyed them till they let me go. Wait. Wait. Grimmel let you go. So dumb. They couldn't handle me. See, everyone thinks Tough Nut's more annoying, but... Wait, hold on! Rough Nut, focus. Were you followed? I never look back, Hiccup. <laughs>